In this video, we'll write the balanced equation for CSOH plus H2SO4. This is cesium hydroxide and sulfuric acid. This is a base and this is an acid. It's a neutralization reaction, so we get this salt here and H2O, water. Let's count the atoms up. We have one cesium, one oxygen, one hydrogen, plus these two here. So we have three hydrogens. Now you notice I didn't count these oxygens here. That's because I have this sulfate group, this SO4 here and here. It's a polyatomic ion. It stays together. Since it stays together, I just count it as one thing. I have one sulfate ion here, and that's it. This makes it a lot easier to balance equations. And you can use this technique on all kinds of equations that have polyatomic ions on both sides. On the product side, we have two cesium, one oxygen, two hydrogen, and then just the one sulfate ion. So it makes it a lot neater. Let's do the cesium. We could put a two here, one times two. Give us two of those. That's balanced. Then we have one times two for the oxygen. We have two of those. Let's update the hydrogens. Two times the one, that's two, plus these two right here in the sulfuric acid, four. Okay, well, we could just take and put a two in front of this H2O. Now we have two times two. That'll give us four and then one times two. That gives us two and we're done. This equation is balanced. So you can see if you count these polyatomic ions as just one thing, if they appear on both sides, it just makes it a lot easier to balance. You get the same answer either way. It's just a lot faster. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for CSOH plus H2SO4. Thanks for watching.